Israelites left Babylon, many returning to Jerusalem, and some heading to surrounding countries. An Israelite named Mordecai moved to a country called Susa with his adopted daughter, Esther. While they were there, the king of Susa, Xerxes, was looking for a woman to become queen. Young women from all over Susa, including Esther, were brought to live in the king's palace and go through a year of beauty treatments before the king would make his selection. When Esther finally got to meet King Xerxes, he was attracted to her more than any of the other women. So Xerxes placed a crown on Esther's head and made her queen. But Esther did not tell him that she was an Israelite, also called a Jew, because Mordecai asked her not to, fearing his reaction. One day, Esther's father Mordecai was sitting near the king's gate and overheard two of the king's officers planning to kill the king. So he warned Esther, and Esther told King Xerxes. The king's life was saved, and the two men were executed. Shortly after, King Xerxes promoted one of his men, named Haman, to a position higher than all the other officials. He commanded everyone to bow down as Haman entered each day through the king's gate. But Mordecai refused. When Haman saw this, he was furious and even more angry when he found out from some of his officials that Mordecai was an Israelite. So he looked for a way to kill not only Mordecai, but all of the Israelites living in Susa. He convinced King Xerxes to declare a law, stating that all Israelites living in the region would be killed on a specific day because they would not follow the king's laws. When Mordecai heard about the law, he tore his clothing and wept bitterly. He convinced Esther to go before the king, reveal that she was an Israelite, and ask the king to spare her people. There was one problem. No one, not even the queen, was allowed to come before the king uninvited. If they did, they risked being put to death. But Esther was brave and approached the king who asked, What is your request? Esther said that she wished for the king to host a banquet and to make sure that Haman, the man who wanted to kill the Israelites, was there. At the banquet, she would make her request known. When the day of the banquet came, Everyone, including Haman, was there. The king asked Esther what it was that she wanted. She revealed that she was an Israelite, a Jew, and begged for her own life and the lives of her people. The king was furious with Haman, who had convinced him to create the law and had him arrested and killed. Then King Xerxes not only removed the law to kill the Israelites, but gave all of them living in the region protection and rights. Because of Esther's bravery, the Israelites were spared and even honored.